Hello everyone, welcome to Ancestry Answers. We will be doing a review uh, if you're new to indexing. How do you do that? And I hope to keep it concise. I will do a quick overview and then I will do another video where we actually go through a batch and some of the ins and outs of that. So this one hopefully will be short that introduces you just how to get there and a little bit of how to do it. If you come to FamilySearch.org, you'll log in here on this right side. Here's where you do indexing. If you want to do an overview, you would click and you can it can it will show you how to get started. So this is another way to be taught some of this information. If you come here to web indexing, web indexing, or you can click it here. If I have worked on a batch but I haven't completed it, it would list it under here. Okay, and it tells me that I have until 31st of October 2019 to finish the batch and I would click open batch. If I want to come and find a new batch, I'm going to click find batches. I will check mark whether I want beginning, intermediate, or advanced. If I have certain ones that I like, I can click the star. The mark is my favorite, so if I click on my favorites, it'll list them all here. And it shows the percentage that are indexed the percentage that are reviewed. Each batch, so a set, so if you took all the World War I draft registration cards from 1917 to 1918 and you divided those into groups, that's called a batch. So they typically have one to five records. So a bunch of records make a batch, a bunch of batches make a whole set. Okay, so each batch is typically one to five records. Sometimes it'll be a little more, uh, but typically I've found it's one to five. If I receive a batch of five World War I draft registration cards, I would index those, which means I will read the writing and then type them into cells so that uh, once it's completed, it's submitted into the Family Search Indexing database. So that means that, let's say the last name is name is name is Paul Johnson, then if you type Paul, Paul Johnson and it happened to be the record that I had indexed, you would then be able to find it. So I would index those five. Somebody else will also get the exact same five. If what we index is the same, it goes into the system. If there are cells, for example, if I put Johnson, I put O-N and somebody and the other person puts E-N, then it would go to who, a person who's a reviewer. A reviewer is someone who has done over a thousand web indexing uh, records. So in the past, the, you had to download um, software to your computer, and so I have done some the old way, and then I have done about 600 or whatever. Let's say I did 600 on the new way. I wouldn't be able to be a reviewer until I got to a thousand of the web indexing. So that person will come in and say, you know what? I see that is an O. They're going to put it as O-N, and then it gets submitted into the database. So then it becomes searchable. Okay, so I can click right here, and I can index. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to go into um, this particular one so I can show you a little bit. You always want to read all the information. It will teach you a lot about what they're needing. When you come in, when you first come into a batch, it'll pop up a project instruction sheet. Please read through that. The project instruction sheet can also be found here. So this is what would normally pop up. Or it can come here to the help in the project instructions. Or you can click right here. Okay, so there are all the different ways to be able to review the project instructions. What to remember about this project how to index a re registration card, it'll show you, okay, the given names, that's right here, surname, that's right here. So you're, it will show you where to find this information. And as you practice and as you do it, you'll get faster and faster. Okay, and we'll go through that when we actually do a batch. Uh, the other thing that's helpful is you come to data entry and show ruler. Some of the records list is a list of different people so you can do this and you can follow along. You, you either use your uh, wheel on your mouse 
or you can use your plus and minus. Give it a second to focus. Okay, so you click and drag. That's how you move yourself around. Okay, so this is image one of five. This would be two of five. If I click on this one, that's three of five, and you go through it. But again, we'll go to that on the next video. So that's how you do that. If you don't want the yellow line there, you just come and show a ruler and uncheck it. This is the show toolbar, which was up here. I always keep that on. This is if you need help on how to view some of the writing. So that's right here with this pen. This is if you do international characters. This is if you want to share the batch and someone else can help you. I will go through some of these other ones as we actually do an index batch. Okay, so that's how you navigate around. Again, here's some keyboard shortcuts. This will open up a new tab, and this is wonderful. So if you, um, I would suggest you print this up and try some of them out. As you do it, you will find that you get faster. This is one of my, my favorites. Ditto the field from above. So if I had Johnson and the next record, the last name is Johnson, I can just do Control D or Command D, and it will automatically put it in and I don't have to type it and it saves me time so I can index faster. So I highly recommend you try these shortcuts out. Again, print it up You can, or you can just leave it and refer to it. Okay, so that is a quick overview of how to get into indexing and then the next video we will actually do some indexing uh, different, and we'll do a few different videos on different types of records. And so I hope that it helps you to know some of the ins and outs and some different techniques and how to enjoy the indexing process.